Hi, in this video, you are going to learn how to quickly recognize the symptoms of a stroke and how to act quickly using four easy steps. My name is Dr. Tolu. I'm a medical doctor, medical content creator, and I believe that this video may come in handy for you at some point. A stroke is a medical emergency and recognizing it fast can make the difference between life and death. And to make it easy, the acronym we're actually going to be using today is called FAST. The first letter, F stands for face. You want to be on the lookout for changes in the person's face. Can the person smile? And if the person can smile, is the smile evenly distributed across the face or does one part of the face look crooked or droopy? You also want to look at the eyes. Does one eye look like it has drooped lower than the other one? These are really important because in a stroke, 2 million nerve cells die every minute that the person does not receive help after having a stroke. The first three hours after having the stroke are very vital, so it's important to pay attention to the face. The next letter is letter A, which stands for arms. So you want to take a look at the person's arms. Can the person raise both arms up in the air? Many people who are having a stroke may not be able to raise both arms, but even if they can raise both arms, you would likely notice that one arm would appear to be falling lower than the other arm. You see, in a stroke, blood flow to one particular part of the brain has been compromised which means that that part of the brain is not getting blood supply and when this happens it is likely going to affect movement in the parts of the body of the affected individual so when looking at the arms another thing you want to look at is is one arm weaker than the other does one arm feel numb comparing both arms and seeing maybe a difference in the strength or power in one compared to the other can be an important telltale sign of a stroke the next letter in the acronym FAST is letter S, which stands for speech. So you try to get the person talk and then you pay attention to the speech. Is the speech slurred? Can the person speak normally? Or can the person even understand you when you are talking to them? This is also really important. And the last letter in the acronym FAST, which some people might even consider to be the most important, is time. Now this letter is not really about looking for maybe a symptom or a sign. It's more about acting fast. It's important to act fast even if you see only one of these symptoms that we've talked about, the face, the arms, the speech, even if you notice abnormality in just one of them, it's important to act fast. You don't need to wait to see everything before you act. One symptom is enough to sound the alarm. So T is time to call emergency services. In the UK, the emergency service number is 999. In Nigeria, it's 767 or 112. And in the US, we all know it is 911. It's absolutely crucial to act as fast as you can if you suspect a stroke and if you are in a position where you feel that getting the person to the hospital yourself might be faster than maybe waiting for emergency services especially if you are in a country where the emergency services don't work as well as they should then it would be a good idea to get the person to the hospital yourself in a safe manner to do so remember when someone has a stroke the first three hours are very very important getting the person to the hospital within the first three hours can make the difference between life and death and even in those that survive it can be the difference between a better quality of life after the stroke and a lower quality of life after the stroke now there are other symptoms of a stroke that are also important to pay attention to like sudden dizziness or sudden severe headache or sudden blurry vision in one or both eyes or even going blind in one or both eyes in a sudden manner but this acronym FAST is usually enough for you to detect a stroke and act quickly so guys I hope you found this video useful if you did find this video useful please hit the subscribe button because I have more interesting content coming your way. And for those who have watched this video to the end, I'm very happy because you are my real people, the true people who actually have a thirst for knowledge and want to do better with each day that passes. So if you've watched this video up until this point, just comment, act fast, and then I will know that you are my type of person. All right, guys, thank you for watching. And if you would like to learn the five common reasons why people suddenly slump and die, that's the video showing right now on your screen. Just click on it and learn some more. Bye.